a sweat house down there, why? Chief Black Eagle purify himself with steam back, maybe. Take more than a steam bath to purify him. Besides, that's a squaw sweat house. Small ceremonial village. Mostly squaws. Yeah, they're renegades, sir. Orders are to attack them anywhere we find them. Right. We'll hit them with a one-pistol charge, then dismount and fight them hand-to-hand. -hand. How about a volley from here, sir? You don't want to shoot a lot of women and kids. Yes, yeah, sir. Now wreck everything, burn their weapons, and don't destroy their food. There are only a few men in the village to fight. When I hit that guard down there, start the charge. Very good, sir. charge and we'll fight dismounted. Don't harm the women or children. Black Eagle. Make purified two weeks. Big steam every day. Like white man do lobster. Money white chamuk. Why yamma? I have not seen Black Eagle since he captured me from my people. Where did you learn English? Mission. Take me with you. Do not leave me here, please. You are Nantan, I know. You belong to NATO's people? I was sent here to be prepared for the wedding. I made up my mind to kill myself first. Order, sir. Get a horse for her. Scatter the rest. Boots and saddles. We're getting out of here. Yes, uh, sir. You, NATO, you got some explaining to do as soon as we get clear of here. Come. Don't no 
horses just wet their mouths. Nato! All right, Nato. How do you think it's going to sound in my report when I say you tricked the United States Cavalry, huh? I led you to a very secret camp. You knew Black Eagle wasn't there. Black Eagle, where you find him, like gold. All right, Nato. A military scout is supposed to be in front of all the truth. Now get going. Do you know NATO a long time, sir? Before I was high enough to reach a stirrup. I was brought up at the Waloa Agency, where he comes from. And you love him? Like I would a father. Some of the time. But if he had told you only a poor captive was in that camp, you would not have tried to find it, would you? Please don't blame NATO too much. He made you save me from something very bad. All right. This is Sergeant Urshik's daughter, a very good woman. Hello. Would you put her up in your quarters? Uh, Marion don't want no dirty Indian around, sir. This one's been steamed out for a week, Marion. I'll go with the other squad. Oh, no, you won't. You'll come with me. No, oh, if you'll excuse me, sir. Dad, what about your own? Yeah, I'll let the doctor look at it. Thank you, Marion. Oh, Niles. We've got a new commander while you were gone. The Major Roland Dane from Washington. I thought I'd better warn you. What happened to Captain Boyson? He's been confined to his quarters. The new commander is going to break him. What? I thought I'd better tell you before you go into report. Thank you, Mary. Come on, you dear. Come on, he isn't going to China. You'll see him again. I buried you, old quartermaster. You got plenty of beans in the warehouse? I'm always glad to see your face when you come off patrol, you bloodthirsty Indian fighter. Have you reported in yet? Well, no law says I can't take off some of this crust fridge. Did um, Marion tell you the news? Yeah. Major Roland Dane. I seem to know that name. Well, he's been a Washington staffer a couple of years. He went through the war under Custer. He got a good record, too, Niles. Uh, Indian fighting on the plains. I was, so, you know... And like Custer, he goes by the book, all uh, spit and polish. Yeah. Marion told me what he did to Captain Boyson. Say, she's looking well. Have you worked up enough courage to ask her to marry you yet? No. No, every time I start to, my throat gums up. I just haven't got the nerve, I guess. Oh, same old beard, huh? Eh? <laughs> yeah, you better take those moccasins off, too. Why? Well, with this new commander, we we'll smack up against regulations. Huh? All right, that's for you. I'll spit and polish it.
Do you suppose you'll ever get over the habit of barging into my bedroom without knocking? I'm sorry. Lieutenant Niles Ord is back with his patrol. I know. I saw them ride in. I want you to come into the orderly room when he reports. I won't. I'm going riding. I want to observe you two when you first meet. You'll come in when I tell you. Roland, why don't you let up? This everlasting jealousy is driving you crazy. You had an affair with him in Washington, didn't you? Roland, that was two years before I even met you. And I resent the word affair. He was a youngster just out of the point. A Westerner. Interesting. I suppose you spent your time talking about his home life in the Indian country. You want me to believe that? I'm long past caring what you believe. But I'll come in and meet him. And I hope you work up enough jealousy to choke you. You ought to be in to report in a few minutes. Come in as soon as you're dressed. Lieutenant Niles Ord reporting, sir. Yes. Lieutenant Niles Ord reporting from patrol, sir. Proceed. It's a routine patrol. Three weeks, one skirmish, no casualties. We raided an Indian camp, expecting to find the war chief we've been having trouble with, Black Eagle. Yes, I briefed myself on this area. Go on. Turned out to be nothing but a ceremonial camp. We rescued an Indian, a woman. Rescued? The Army doesn't rescue Indians. It destroys them. This one's different, sir. She'd been kidnapped as a bride for Black Eagle. And what had you intended doing with her, Lieutenant? I figured on my next patrol, I'd take her within a day's ride of the Methodist mission where she comes from. My scout can then return her to her own people. Very nice. But I have another idea. She'd make good bait, wouldn't she? What do you mean, bait, sir? If I know Indians, this one you've been after for so long will make a blind attack on the fort to get her. No, he won't, sir. He isn't a Plains Indian. He's a Shoshone. He'll whittle down our strength, cut up our patrol. That will yes. do, Lieutenant. The squaw stays for bait. Now listen to me. This post has been run like a settlement house. Captain Boyson, drunk most of the Captain time. Captain Boyson is a sick man. He hasn't been right since the Indians tortured him, sir. I told you I've briefed myself on this area and its activities. Boyson will be sent back under escort, court-martialed, I hope. That'd be a dirty shame. One piece of insubordination from you, and you'll go the same route. Will that be all, sir? Not quite. I see you shaved and cleaned up before reporting here. It's customary to take the worst off. I've been gone almost a month, sir. Is that the real reason? I don't know what you're getting at. I believe you've met my wife before, Lieutenant Ord. Niles Ord. How very pleasant. Sylvia. And Mrs. Dane, if you don't mind, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Sylvia would do nicely, Niles. You, uh, you look different. Older, of course. It's been five years. Has it been that long? Well, Roland and I have been married for three years. Haven't we, darling? Well, I'll be running along. I'm going for a ride. We must have a long talk. Soon, now. Sir, if she's riding out of this fort, it could be dangerous. You know what these Indians do to captive white women? When the braves get through with them, they turn them over to the squaws. The squaws, they take them. That's enough, them. Lieutenant. If that ever happened, no power on earth could keep me from getting to Sylvia. And my first bullet would be for her. Yes, sir. Look, really, miss. Little dear. A little dear, then. You can't come in here and police up a man's quarters. Shine shoes, wash shirts, keep clothes clean, make Nantan very smart soldier. I know, but look, you've got to go. Get out. Shoo. Look, in the mission school, everything is always very neat. I'll show you. But somebody's liable to come in. And so? This is the army. Please go. Well. 
Am I intruding? And now, don't misunderstand this. For a man who's medicine. supposed to be afraid of women, you're doing all right. Where'd you hide that sink medicine? It's in the second door. Now, look, believe me, she came in here. I, I Little tried Deer to get was around. a prisoner. I rescued her, and according to the Indian code, she belongs to me, do you savvy? I never had any other thought. All right, now, forget it, will you? She'd knife you, me, anybody who laid a hand on you. Well, it'd be all right with me now. It's right in the back, really. I don't care. Will you look at that? She's my burden. Getting rid of her isn't going to be easy. Brother, I'm gl glad it's yours, not mine. Uh, why the bottle, huh? We'll see Captain Boyson. You're out of bounds. Come on. Is it a very big burden, Antan? No. I'm not a woman's man, little dear. The old Indian laws say that... Come now. You're working that one to death. You learn better at the mission. The old, old laws suit me fine. Well, if they don't suit me, you might as well get this one right out of your head. Out of my head, Nan Tan. <laughs> and into my heart. Black Eagle. They're just prowling around. I'm scared, Nan Tan. I promise you, he won't lay a hand on you. You wouldn't hit this fort. We're men to strength. Now, hurry on in. Good night. Good night. And stay out of my quarters, do you hear? Come in. Niles. Yeah. Dane tells me he's sending you back. Is there anything I could do, sir? Maybe, uh, maybe a report to the general about the time the Indians got you? Excuses. There are no excuses in the army for a drunk. Oh, I'm done. Washed out. This time it's taps. You know why? Because I butted in when I heard Dane and his wife quarreling. That's what he's got me for. Drunk on duty, insubordination, striking a superior officer. Did you hit him, Captain? Right square between the eyes. That poor young wife of his. He deliberately brought her into this hellhole. Captain. Every night they prowl us. Niles, you wouldn't have a drink, would you? Yes, sir. Sniper got in close. You gonna come with me? Hey, trooper! What is it? Sentry sniper. What countermeasures have you ordered? What countermeasures are there? For a man who was born and raised among Indians, your knowledge of tactics is elemental, Lieutenant. What happened out there, Nato? One Indian trade his life for one soldier. No attack coming. How could you be positive of that? Black Eagle not got enough braves. Very religious too. You wait for right time and many prayers. Nonsense. I've fought Indians before. Order every trooper to his post. Rake the cover closest to the fort. Rake it for five minutes. But, sir... Indians will think soldiers frightened, like many squaws. Squaws seem to be your specialty, both of you. Your orders are to open up with everything we've got. Blast all the cover within range. Yes, sir. Call officers and non-coms on the double.
All present and accounted for, sir. Very good, Corporal. Check your position. Lieutenant Sperling. Yes, sir. Where are you taking Captain Boyson? Escorting him to Fort Rock, sir. Isn't this kind of sudden? I wouldn't know. I just received orders, sir. Goodbye, Niles. I don't suppose I can stop this, sir. Don't even try. You've got your own career to think about. I promise you, sir, if there's a court-martial, I'll be there. Sorry, sir, but my orders are to leave at once. Right, Lieutenant. Good luck, Captain. Who's right? Permission requested to take a patrol and flank Captain Boyson's escort until he's clear the hill, sir. Refused. You don't demand the fort. Besides, these Indians haven't attacked an armed patrol yet. Well, you're relying too much on that Indian scout you keep around. He's got you scared. Look, Major, Black Eagle's game from now on is to deplete the fort. He's recruited brave from all over Oregon. He's strong enough now to hit a small patrol. Yes, go on. Black Eagle is the same one they call Tomahus. The same man who butchered Reverend Whitman and his family. He took Fort Walla Walla with the same tactics. Are you finished? No. If you let that patrol go as is, you'll be sending Captain Boyson and those men to their deaths. I thought you'd hang yourself if I gave you enough rope. I'm confining you to the post for insubordination. You'll take the duty, officer of the day, until further orders. That was about Captain Boyson, I suppose. Well, discipline must be maintained at all costs. Boyson struck his superior officer. A pathetic drunk. If you were half a man, you'd have ignored it. Kindly leave these military matters to me. Gladly. Um, when is Niles Ord leaving on his patrol again? Why? Just curious. Sylvia, why do you do this to me? And why not? Please listen to me. I've heard it all. I don't know which side of you I hate the most. Your blind jealousy or this fawning and pawing in what you call love. I do love you, Sylvia. You couldn't love a dog and treat it the way you've treated me. Tricking me into coming up here, burying me alive in this stinking hole. That's love? I'll get a change of command back to Washington, I promise. That would take a year, and you know it. Sylvia. Oh, I intend to ask Niles to dine with us. This horse has a saddle, sir, Corporal. Get him to the vets after inspection. Yes, sir. What's this, Corporal? Mrs. Dane. She rides from four till five every afternoon. I see. Dismiss the men, Corporal. Yes, sir. Niles, won't you come along to my daily constitutional? Sorry, I've got the duty officer of the day. It's dangerous for you to ride out of the fort. Don't be ridiculous. I don't ride near the hills. I have to have some change of scenery. Niles, come to dinner with us tonight. Remember, your husband gave me off of the day. Oh, that beast, Roland. He's trying to break you. When can I have a talk with you? Maybe when things quiet down. Quiet down? The place is a permanent morgue now. Aren't you taking army life just a bit too seriously? I'm a professional soldier, Sylvia. So I like you better when you act like a professional lover. Open the gate! Lieutenant Dobie. Oh, yes, we've, we've met, thank you. Oh, 
Well, this is the list of rations we need, and please don't load them down with beans, will you, Baird? No, and uh, none of the polished rice either. Plenty of marrow bones when we have fresh meat and, and easy on the sugar, huh? Well, if you'll just issue them, little Leah will sign for them. She reads and writes very well. Oh, yes, yeah, she's... She's very accomplished. I'll see you later, Baird. All right. Oh. Private, would you fill this? Poor Nantan. What is this uh, Nantan business, anyway? Brother. Good, kind brother. He is in trouble. Yeah, big, kind brother is dragging his heels because the commander hates him, and, and he's given him the duty until further orders. Mm. Nantan is sick. The old Indians used to say, the devil is inside a light-haired woman. What do you use, a crystal ball? Yes. Two of them. With my own two eyes, I'm seeing these things. You're a witch. No, I'm a woman, an Indian woman. The lieutenant is so much in love with you, it is very painful. Are you talking about Niles Ord? No. Lieutenant Baird Doby, the pork and beans man. Oh. He's nice, he's very nice, little dear. And you're in love with him, too. <laughs> you're a caution. So why don't you tell the lieutenant how you feel about him? You're right, little dear. I, I do like Bear Doby, but the man that I marry is going to be outside of the army. I've stuck to Dad ever since Mother died. Now he's honing for a promotion. And when it comes through, I'm going east. Will I come in? Oh, yes, please come in. Well, you don't go. Star for a little feminine companionship. Sit down. Thank you. Why aren't you in your quarters? Marion has company. Good night. Oh, well, Nan, do you know what the old Indians say? The devil lives in the heart of a light haired woman. You keep those Indian fairy tales to yourself. And don't keep pulling that one about my owning you just because I rescued you. That's Chinese anyhow. Nantan is big fool. And another thing, would you mind keeping out of my quarters? Here, here's that marriage totem you put under my pillow. Why don't you get civilized and grow up, huh? Nantan is big damn fool. devil's up to, sir? Those are recruiting drums. Join the army and fight the Indians. No, join the Indians and fight the army. That's more like it. One thing's certain, they haven't got enough warriors to hit this fort yet. Bolder out there, NATO. Black Eagle send night hunters close. Make soldiers nervous. Yes. Probably figured we were all shaking in our boots the other night. The shooting helped Black Eagle. His drums bring more warriors every night. Take cover. Any orders, sir? Just lights out, that's all. Yes, sir. Countermeasures have you ordered this time? None, sir. These Indians are back in the woods, shooting long range. It'd be luck if they even bounced a shot into the fort. It's an old Sioux trick. Keep us awake and nervous. It works, too, when troops are under canvas. Maybe Major like to shoot up ground again. Big noise, plenty bullets. Not necessary. There's not much chance of them hitting a man. Good night, Lieutenant. I yeah, missed that crack, NATO. Maybe our Major does know something about Indian fighting. He not know Black Eagle fighting. 
Niles! Niles, what's happening? I'm terrified. It's all over. Don't worry. Look, I have to talk to you. Niles, I've got to get away from this place. Why don't you tell that to your husband? Why did he bring you here in the first place? Just to torture me. He accused me of affairs with every man that talked to me in Washington. He asked to be transferred to this post. He said he'd make a hag out of me in two years out here. Niles, I haven't forgotten those days in Washington. We could be together again. I have all the money we'd ever need. We can go anywhere you want to. Abroad, South America. Niles, you have to help me get away from here soon. Say something. You frighten me. You're like an, an Indian standing there. I was just thinking. It's five years. I'm just a young shaved tail out of West Point. And you. You were beautiful, sophisticated. That infatuation. The maddest I ever knew, Sylvia. Nothing's changed. Hold it. What's the matter? Call the officer today. Someone's coming in. They slid him open. Stop his poor body with the pills. Yeah, sure we'll get him. Silence, all of you. Fall on the detail of 25 men. They're strong enough to annihilate poor Boyce's escort, sir. Black Eagle got many braves now. If you do this thing to make you chase after him. That was an order, Lieutenant. I'll lead the patrol myself. I want Sergeant Urshik along. I don't want to have far to go to look for him, sir. Would you like me to interpret that signal for you, sir? Keep your Indian stuff to yourself. If they're that close, I can run them down. I'll give you 10 minutes to have that patrol ready. What does it mean, sir? You'll find out. So will the rest of us. Carry him in.
¡Gola! ¡A la vaca! Gone down this way. They're panicked so bad they're not even trying to cover their trail. Maybe hurrying to save camp, sir. That camp will be the last this bunch ever makes. Uh, usually they're a little more careful, sir. Well, they're scared. They know we're after them. What's the matter? Let's keep moving. I don't like this. The trail's too plain for one thing. Certainly. We're right behind them.
Nikke. Kuno Anova Vak Nikke. Not too serious. It was a glancing shot. He'll be all right in a couple of days. Lieutenant Ord. Yes, sir. Send that Indian of yours to Port Rock. Reinforcements. NATO all alone, sir? He's Indian, isn't he? No loss if he doesn't make it. Send him at once. It's an order. Yes, sir. You think you could make it? Not easy. Not too hard. Black Eagle stay in hills. Think he's strong enough to hit this fort? He got Modoc, Shoshone, Sumnez purse. A few braves from the road. But he wait for one thing more. What's that? Big medicine. He go with no food, no women. One day, two, maybe three. Then make big prayer all alone. After that, out. We've still got time. Here. Just ask for 300 men minimum. Some Gatling guns. And ride back with the troops, my friend. Don't try to make it alone. I'll be careful. Open the gates. God go with you, NATO. Luck, my friend. NATO has more guts than ten men. More important, he has God and my prayers. He will be back. Close the gates! Niles. Huh? How about Urshik? He got out with two bumps and bruises. All those men. Holy smokes. Yeah, what a waste. Do you suppose, I hate to say it, but Urshik has been trying awfully hard for a promotion. Do you suppose that he and Dane uh, deserted the others? Sergeant Urshik is a good soldier. And like a good soldier, he rescued his commanding officer. Well, I see little deer's been here again. Well, she comes and goes like a ghost. I never see her. You know, if her totems ever work, I'm sunk. What's this one for? It's the fool's totem. It means I'm about ready for the Indian version of the straitjacket. Nantan, big fool. Where do you think you're going? To the opera? I'm having dinner with Mrs. Dane. <clears throat> Maybe Little Deer knows what she's talking about, huh? West and South. I checked with that scout of yours. What's his name? NATO? Yes, and downriver here, there's a trapper settlement about three, four hours out. And that's west. All this Indian trouble is east and south. Oh, Niles, darling, darling, we could be in California in just a few days with no trouble at all. And then south to the islands anywhere. We're forgetting one thing, Sylvia. You'd just be taking a trip and I'd be a deserter. A deserter, so? So? Is that your answer? They shoot him in this man's army. Oh, we'll get you some new clothes, a gentleman who would know you were ever in the army. Besides, darling, we'd leave the country. I know what the answer would have been for that shave tail five years ago. Well, here's to him because he's made it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about myself. When you first came here, I was thrown again. Almost as badly. But now I'm cured. I know now, Sylvia, that you don't care about anybody but yourself. All right, Niles. I'll give you $20,000 cash if you'll just get me to California. Then you can go your own way. Nope. Look, I'll be everything you could want in a woman till we get to the coast. The unions have a saying, you know. Watch out for squirrel making trade. Why, you half Indian. One sixteenth Cherokee, if you want the details.
Thank God, thank God you got in. Your prayers are with me, little dear. How's the leg, Nita? Bone not hurt. Good. Close the gate! Get him to the infirmary. Yes, sir. No reinforcements, no Gatling guns, nothing. They're out after the Modocs. They're raiding all the way over to the John Day country and Mount Hure. They even demand we send every man we can spare from here. We can't spare a man, sir. It's a demand, not a request. Black Eagle has a big bunch behind him. He's about ready, sir. These are general orders. Would you like to disobey them, Lieutenant? I'll cheat you out of that little pleasure, sir. Then order the men out at once. Map their route. Swing east for three hours, then due south. If they get past these hills fast, they should make it through to Fort Rock. Trouble with Boyson's guard, they kept too close to the hills. Yes, sir. Eagle, go make big prayer. Alone. Where is this place, Nato? Could you draw me a map? I do not know how to find the holy place. We got rid of Black Eagle. This whole budget scattered, right? Very true. And one person can lead you right to him. Who? Where can I find him? It's a woman, my son. Someone you know very well. Little dear? I wouldn't ask her to take the chance, Nato. I have told her to wait for you at the dry wash south of the fort at sunset. She will be waiting. I can't ask her to risk it. Kill Black Eagle, my son, and all the rest will go away. He alone holds them with big medicine. and draw me a map. You could not find it. One little canyon in a thousand others. What makes you so sure you could find it? I was taken there when they first captured me. Oh, no. It isn't true. Black Eagle did not touch me. He tortured and killed three captive girls before my turn came. And they saved me for the wedding. Um, Wait. It must have been a nightmare, so why go back to there? The fort is down to very few men, Nantan. I am baiting a trap for Black Eagle to attack. So, now the bait is not there, whatever happens. Besides, I can lead you to where Black Eagle will be in your rifle sights. All right. Let's get as far as we can before nightfall. Sleep. I've been 
sitting out there on a rock, staring into nothing, thinking. Yes. <laughs> Was it about the light-haired woman with the devil in her soul? No. It was about a little pagan who's taken her life in her hands to lead me to black evil. My life has been in your hands since the day you came into that teepee. Oh, are you always going to be a fool, Amanda? Why, you little... What are these, lies? Dragging him into this holy country, as you call it. If this is one of NATO's tricks, I'll... Brave, suspicious man, Dad. Will you please make it Niles? I'm tired of that non-time business. No more, big brother? Good. Oh, I wish I had tricked you into this trip, Niles. But there is a holy place, and Black Eagle is there. I thou it. What did you say? I called you beloved. No. Oh. You uh, must have changed your mind about this, huh? Make me change my mind now. Anaquanum, Anasequium. Anaquanum, Anasequium. Anaquanum, Anasequium. I got your man's in his prayers. I'd like to take him alive. And we prove to these Indians he isn't the big spirit he thinks he is. Here. You take this rifle and you stay here. Swarming within you. No, not an Indian would dare come in here. Black Eagle will not return either. I know. We better get back. I intend to cite you in the first dispatch that goes out. I'll have you court-martialed. Do what you please. I told you I saw a chance to get this maniac. 
You saw a chance. You went out with that Indian girl, didn't you? If you insult her again, I'll... You what? Are you threatening your superior officer? You're not making things easy for yourself, Lord. An order and escort. Send me out the way you did poison, but you keep your personal remarks to yourself, sir. We're under man to the bone, or I'd ship you back today, believe me. We're under man, and you let something like that go on. Two troopers detailed for an hour's ride won't wreck the duty roster. You can't take my mind off the serious matters with that petty complaint, Ord. Got a few opinions on that, too. Insubordination, dereliction of duty, absence without leave. Those are the charges I'm putting against you. All right. Let's get it over with. When do I leave? You don't. Oh? What are you going to do, lock me up, sir? I'm returning you to duty, restricted. Lieutenant Doby will take over as senior officer. I expect you to brief him. You'll be sent back under escort when I consider it feasible. Now go get cleaned up. Dismissed. Oh, I usually ride as far as that pile of rocks up there. Still inside of the fort. Really, there's absolutely no danger. Well, I suppose we could see anyone coming for miles. Some men in the graveyard dug in. Yes, I get it, Niles, but Dane wouldn't dare ship you back at a time like this. Why try to make a fighting man out of me? I'm going to make a general out of you. Now, this is my strategy for an attack on a depleted fort. You leave only a few men inside the fort, all the horses saddled. We'll let the Indians attack us, and then we'll serve them a surprise packet. All right. Sounds good. But you'll be around if we need you, huh? Maybe not. If he does send me back, it's going to mean 10 or 15 men out of those firing stands. And we'll be down to a corporal's guard. Right, they're coming fast, followed by a loose horse. Sergeant, the Indians got the women and they killed Roberts. Sergeant? They got Mary and Mrs. Dane, sir. Get him to the infirmary. Report to Major Dane. I'm taking this one on my own. But become my daughter, sir. All right, Sergeant. Get ten men mounted, quick. Move! What is it? They've captured the women, sir. The women? Sylvia? Yes, sir. I'll take every man in the fort. No, you won't, sir. This could be a trick to get some of us out of the fort. If it is, they'll hit us with everything they've got. Sergeant Nershik is getting ten men together now, sir. Then take ten men. Yes, sir. Niles. Nato, how's your leg? Good. Go out and scout ahead. We'll be right behind you. Poor Miriam. Please hurry, Niles. I know what they'll do to both of them. Take care of yourself. You watch the hills. Tell Lieutenant Doby if you read any smoke signals. Lieutenant, I'll scout ahead to bring the troop fast. Move!
One punch close. Hurry. Get ahead of them. This way. Split up. One bunch go fast, very fast, with light haired woman. Straight to Black Eagle. Did you see Major Dane? Nothing, no sign. He's out there, scouting him somewhere. Sergeant, we're going in. I want volunteers. You and Marion go back to the fort. Look. Take the men back to the fort. Report to Lieutenant Doby. Tell him he's going to have the bulk of these Indians in his lap by night. Very good, sir. No. You take care of little deer for me. Sergeant Ershik to send out another detail. What does it mean now? Many Indians with Black Eagle now. And this is really it, hmm? Forgive me. He's your good friend, too. Lieutenant, the men, sir. Start digging a trench this side of the brush. Yes, sir. All right, the first three men. Dig in along here, the other two on the other side. Let's move along. They'll most likely hit us sometime tonight or in the early morning, sir. Let them come. We'll be ready. Most of us will be dug in here. Now says the Indians are too superstitious to come through a graveyard. A lot of their own people are buried here, too. That's true, sir. You'll be in charge inside the fort, Sergeant. Keep a few men on the catwalks. And the women inside and protected. And the horses saddled and ready. If we do beat them off, we'll charge. Very good strategy, sir. I didn't work it out. Niles Ord did. And I hope to heaven he's around to see it work. I second that, sir. All right, let's hurry it up. Let's move along. We have much time. You were right, my friend. This is where he came out in the trail. Shot horse. He's traveling fast. And many horses without shoes went earlier. I think we got the story, Nato. Dane's located him, and he's following him. Shadow's long. Yes. We'll push on. You take the ridge. I'll follow the trail. Come 
Tomáša, kvíne mi okna. Sylvia. Sylvia.
be fine very soon. I go fix herbs. I'll take your horse, sir. Carry on, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, wait! Oh! 